So you've been waiting out the real estate market, potentially hoping for some things to change, crash, or had a bearish outlook, hoping for some deals, only to be proven wrong every single week this month as we look at Keeping Current Matters and this week's National Housing Market Update, some surprising uptick in demand and continued decrease in inventory leading to those who had that bearish outlook looking to be quite wrong in 2023. Well, thanks for sticking around. And as you can see, we'll dive right into the numbers on this week's National Housing Market Update. As you know, we share this every single week so you can stay updated on what's happened in the market. And we had another week of inventory dropping by 1.4%. Now, what's unique about this is that in January, we would normally see some bouncing around up and down of inventory increasing, inventory decreasing to where in that third week of January, we saw it bottom out and would normally start seeing more inventory as we enter the spring selling market. Now, that was traditional markets prior to the pandemic. And what's very unique about this week dropping another 1.4% is we'll have to wait till next week's data because at the first week of February, will we see inventory bottom out and every week it start to rise? Or unfortunately, or fortunately, will we see another similar trend, as you can see from this graph, of pandemic market activity? Meaning, will inventory continue to drop not only through February, but into March and the early spring season? And as we started to see what I was sharing before, which is a little bit of a surprising uptick in demand, you can see that light line, which is sales contracts occurring, we're still down 30% fewer than last year, but as you can see, we're up 6% in just one week of pending contract. Now, this is not home sales, but those homes that went under contract. And as you look at last year, we saw an extreme amount. If you take the light bar of sales and transactions every single week in January, we're starting to see a rise in the amount of transactions from that dramatic fall in quarter three and quarter four. So what this leads many to believe is that if inventory continues to drop and the demand is out there, those with that bearish outlook may be proven to be quite wrong. And the reason is if there are not new listings come in the market and that demand is there for it, what will happen is these new listings will continue to be taken off the market quite quickly, which will also lead to upward pressure in home prices. Now, when we say upward pressure in home prices, this isn't the bidding war or mania, but it's definitely leading to favorability in sustainability, meaning not a dramatic rise in home prices, but sustainability in rising home prices, not that that of dropping and or any falls. What is another indicator of this? As you can see, the median home list price went up again another week. And well, why is at $414,000 is with the low inventory. And it's not just individual demand. It's the largest generation of millennials being in peak purchase power of many people entering the housing market. And as we start to normalize with where rates are, many people are understanding that now is a time to stop waiting and take advantage of opportunity since mortgage rates have somewhat neutralized. Now, remember, this is not due to bidding wars, but the home prices rising is due to multiple offers. It's just those multiple offers are coming in the form of both of them being at list price or maybe just a little bit above. So as we continue to look at what happens with median home price, you're also starting to see the continued decline of the percentage of properties with price reduction. So obviously, as this number continues to drop, we're starting to get closer numbers to 2019, 2018, 2017, which remember, in a normal housing market, roughly about one third of all homes require a pricing reduction to create movement. So as we continue to see a lack of new listings and a uptick in demand, well, this is allowing these homes to come off market without the requirement of a price reduction, which for a lot of bearish individuals wanting to take advantage of the market is the belief that a price reduction was a deal. And those deals were to be found throughout most of the nation back in quarter three and quarter four 
while many people were waiting. So again, as we start to see inventory drop 1.4%, will it bottom out in February? That number over the next two weeks will be very unique and important for us to follow. But one other stat that we don't normally share is the percent of active market with price increases. Now you might ask, what does that mean, Justin? Well, as you start looking at overall investor activity, meaning that the investors that are looking to enter the market, you saw many of them pull out dramatically, as you can see that kind of light pink line in February of last year. And every single month, we could almost say this was the first signal of the market shift because when investors or iBuyers or companies that need to relist to make a profit, when they see that there's not a upsell in relisting the property, they pull out. So as we start to see this change, it's because investors are back in the market and we are seeing some price increases. And this number, as you notice, with that green and light blue line should be roughly a right about 3% in a normalized market. So again, we're almost about a half a percent away from a normalized market with investor and active market price increases, which is a good sign. So for a lot of us, what this shares is what could be happening in spring. And as we start going through the rest of the year is sustainability in rising home prices, not dramatically, but continue to go up. And right now might be a great opportunity for many people to get back into the market and those sellers who have been waiting a great time to time it as we're starting to still see a lack of inventory. And remember, one of the best times to sell is when there's less competition. So from me to you, I hope your family is doing well, your businesses are doing great, and everybody is staying safe. Thank you for giving us your time. We'll continue to educate you every week as we shared. Yes, you have the National Housing Market Update monthly. Yes, you have the monthly local first to know market update. But every single week right now is going to help if you're thinking about timing or at least spending time learning about the market so you can take advantage of it.